Yes guys, lovely to see you and great to be back with another video. Now recently I've been asked this question quite a lot, how do I learn my tricks? And it's such a good question and it got me thinking about my own processes of how I practice and how I learn. And to be honest with you, over the years I have learned so much from other people, it's helped me in my career. So I thought I'd put together a video of all my top tips on not just how to get better at doing football skills, but how to learn and get better at pretty much anything. Number one, put in the training. I'm going to start with this one because it really is the core of everything practice and hard work. If you look at all the best athletes, actors, singers, business people, it doesn't matter which profession, I guarantee you that they will have spent thousands upon thousands of hours at their craft. Me as a freestyler, I make sure that I always travel with my ball so I can always practice and always work at my craft. Sometimes I have to travel a lot, so I have to work out or do a training session in my hotel. It doesn't matter where you train, but what matters is that you do. Number two, don't be afraid to fail. Nobody has learned anything new without failure. It's just not possible. And when I'm practicing my skills, I don't do the moves that I can already do. There's just no point in that. You'll never learn anything by doing what's easy. So face your challenges head on. Trust me, little by little, day after day, your body and brain will adapt. So embrace your failures. And whatever happens, keep moving forward. Number three, Take risks and innovate. To break new ground, you need to think differently and you need to take on new challenges. Some of the challenges that I've taken on have been quite big and scary, but they've made me better as a freestyler, but more importantly, they've improved my character. So maybe take a risk every now and again, even if it looks a bit silly to everyone else. Don't worry about that. Last year, I took on a challenge to create 100 tricks in 100 days, and it was hard, but I made sure that every single day I got out, I thought differently, and I got there. So get out and take a lot of risks. Number four, think small. Sounds a little bit strange, doesn't it? But trust me, if you do something very small each day towards your goal, it will have a massive impact on your life over the weeks, months, and years. So remember, be patient and do the small things well. Number five, keep inspired. Make sure that you surround yourself with good people, people that are gonna be positive and people that are gonna be good in your life. A negative attitude will not get you anywhere, so beware of those types of people. Another thing to stay inspired is to read good books. I love to read great people's autobiographies, biographies of the absolute greats in every single field. It's so inspiring. Think of it as food for the brain. Number six, smile and enjoy the journey. Life is a journey, so smile, be positive, and get out and express yourself. When I was growing up, my favorite player was Ronaldinho. He had some of the best tricks and skills you've ever seen. He could pass, he could shoot, he scored some of the absolute best goals we've ever seen in the sport of football. But the one thing that he had above every other player that he was always smiley. He had a charisma that you would pay to watch. So maybe be a little bit more like Ronaldinho. Never stop smiling and like I said before, never be afraid to express yourself. Okay, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it was of value to you in your life. These are the core principles that I try and live by. A lot of it is based around taking chances, taking risks, and really bettering yourself on a daily basis. If it has helped you, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and it was of value, drop us a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this.